welcome to Houston DIY, my name is Ben. In this video we're checking out the brand new Kiwi Design K4 Boost. Okay, so Kiwi Design has sent us some brand new products over. We've got the uh, K4 Boost, we've got two of these here. We've got the H4 Boost, which is there. And we've also got some grips, some hand grips of the Quest 3 controllers here. In this video, we're concentrating on these ones, which are the K4 Boost. So this is a comfort battery head strap. So basically a head strap for the MetaQuest 3 and the MetaQuest 3S, which is really important now with the re release of that new product. And it's built for pure comfort on the head. Also have a built-in battery to give you a longer battery life watching films and gaming even more. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna unbox one of them, fit it to the MetaQuest 3 headset, see what the comfort's like, check out the battery connection, etc. and we'll do a basically a first impression review of this. We'll do a longer term look at this, maybe a month review, just to go come back to confirm how comfy it is and what the battery life has been like on the extended battery. Second part of the video, we're gonna take one of them to bits. So basically, we're gonna do some testing on the headset strap. We're gonna see what the output is from the battery with a USB-C tester. We'll then actually deassemble one of this actual headset strap. We'll check out where the battery is, the size of the battery, the design, the internal components. So some, I know some people are really interested in that. And Kiwi Design wanted to show off what they've done with this actual strap, how they've built it, designed it externally and internally. As I mentioned, we will uh, deassemble this whole strap, check it out, check out the wiring, stuff like that. So first of all, we'll unbox this bad boy. Uh, we'll see what it's like, what the material's like, see what the quality's like compared to other headset straps that I've used, and then we'll uh, fit it to the MetaQuest 3 and see what it's like. So first of all, unboxing here on the table. Okay, got a couple of angles going now, this one here, and then we've got one over here as well, just to give you some kind of close-up look. Um, so we'll get the head stra headset strap out first, and then we'll get the fitted to the MetaQuest device after. As I mentioned, this fits onto the MetaQuest 3 and the MetaQuest 3S, the brand new MetaQuest 3S. Okay, so nice and simple inside the box. You've got the actual strap and then the actual connecting part that goes onto the head. Um, so let's just take this out of the packaging. Okay, super simple packaging and comes with some instructions by the looks of it. Uh, in the here, let's just take a look at it. So we've got the warranty guide, which is all in there. And then we've got the user manual here, which has got hopefully got the uh, how to fit it some of the um, information about the headset. Okay, yes, that talks you through how to set up the headset, etc., etc. So let's just take this out of the packaging. Okay, so I can feel straight away, it's really, really well made in terms of the construction and the building and probably the design that's gone into this, the R&D that's gone into it. Um, nice design, you've got the dial on there which tightens up the headset or loosens it off as well. So bringing it in like that tightens it against the head. So you can loosen it fully off like that and you can hopefully see that the arms are then moving forward. So obviously, depending on the size of your head, you can then make this bigger. So on the end of it, just there, hopefully you can just about see that, we've got the USB-C cable there, which pushes through that hole, which will plug into the actual MetaQuest 3 or MetaQuest 3S to charge it using the battery that's built into here. Uh, just to confirm about the battery as well, it's a 3000 milliamp hour battery. So that's plenty of battery in there to kind of boost your gameplay, boost your actual um, watching of films, anything you're doing with the headset will obviously give you a good amount of boost there. Um, and you can also charge the actual battery strap on the USB-C port just underneath there. There's no USB-C cable included that I can see by the looks of it. So there's no, no USB-C cable to charge it. I guess the idea is you would use the original MetaQuest 3 a charger and cable to charge the actual battery, which will then charge the headset as well. Okay, so we've got the second part of it here, which is the comfort part, which is the percussion bit on the back there, which obviously sits on the back of your head. Really, really well, uh, really, really nice and soft material there, a foam inside of there, which should provide tons of comfort. You've also got the element that comes onto the top of the head as well. So I've got that bit there, that then comes on top. Again, that's nice and cushioned. The Velcro then pushes into the headset and then Velcros down. And that is adjustable to obviously for your size of your own head to make that as comfy as possible. So you've got two kind of clips here that clip into the back of the actual battery element. So we'll push that in now and then we'll actually get it all fitted onto the headset. Okay, so here we have the MetaQuest 3, not the S, MetaQuest 3. Uh, so I did a previous video on this actual headset strap, which is Destec, it's from a company called Destec. Nice budget friendly, uh, nice and comfortable, really, really good headset value for money. 
Um, this headset doesn't have a battery built in. It's kind of got the back a bit, which makes it look like it does, but there's no battery built into this. But so far, it has been really good. Uh, I'll link up to the video I did here on it. The only downside of this one is the strap that goes across the top kind of flattens your head on, creates like a ridge in your hair. Not that I've got much, but it does create a ridge in the hair. Um, and that's one of the design flaws there. So, been a really good headset strap, but we're going to unclip it now from here. So there you go, as you can see, I unclipped really well. Uh, just to confirm as well, I do use the prescription lens inserts. Um, so there's some magnetic ones I've got there. Um, I'll link to some of the ones I've used before below in the description, but they are really, really good. I've done the video before on them, would definitely recommend the link below in the description. Um, so let's get on with actually fitting this headset in. So, we've got the black strap bit here, which we're gonna press into the back of the actual battery element. So this should just be a case of clipping this in, which I'll do now. Okay, you could hear those, the clicking into there. So that's all clicked in now on the back of there. Got a left and the right it is labeled on the inside for left and right. So that now has got the actual back element in with the top strap coming over, ready to connect in. So I'll just show you that bit. In fact, what we'll do, we'll connect it into the side bits first. So this is a slightly different design to the Destek one. Okay, so it should just click into the side of here. We'll do this side first. Okay, so this, hopefully, should just click. If I've got it the right way around, yes, I have. It should just click into the sides. There we go. And this side into here. There we go. Super simple to do that. Clicked in nice and easy. Got the hinge point there. So you can then lift it up off the face to take this off, which is great. Nice smooth action on the hinge. And you can then see on this side as well, we've got the USB-C cable, which plugs into the side of the headset like that. There you go, and we are charging. The battery's fully charged, but it's kicked into charging. So you can see hopefully as well on there, if I just do a close up to the camera, you've got the battery indicator LED lights just there, uh, just there as well. So last bit to do is just to connect the top strap and that just pushes through that mechanism there. I'll try and do it without taking the facial interface off. We should better do. Like so, and just pull it through. That goes back round and then Velcros onto the top like so. So you've got a different design on top compared to the Destek one, a nice cushion design across the, down the, down the whole of your head. Um, it's a different support mechanism, different way of supporting it. Uh, they do differ per headset strap. Um, so that's it all connected now. We'll try it on in a second and see what the comfort's like, first impressions. Okay, so let's try the headset on. As I mentioned, I've got prescription lens inserts in there, um, so I don't need my glasses on for that. So this hopefully should be a case of just loosening off the Velcro, which I'll do there. And then I will rotate the, this uh, dial on the back, which then takes it really big. I do have quite a big head. So we'll do that as big as it'll go. Onto there, tighten up. You've got that tight and then using the dial on the back to take it a little bit tighter. And then it's obviously down to your personal comfort how you want to do it. So if I just use this Velcro bit there and just tighten that up. Okay, so that's in terms of compared to the Destek one, compared to wherever I've put it, there it is. Compared to this one, there's a lot less pressure on the top of my head. Um, so it feels almost, well it is, it's comfier than this. This one puts a lot of downward pressure, pu pushing down into the head. The support thing there, it doesn't really feel like it's really needed, it's just kind of gives you that extra bit of comfort, extra bit of support across the top of your head. That one really felt like it was digging in a little bit. And then on the back of the head, again, really, really comfy, really well cushioned. It's really well spread out as well. If I compare it to this one, it's quite a narrow band. Uh, on there. This one's quite a wide band so it kind of pushes the pressure out onto the back of the head really nicely. That's going to create much more comfort for longer periods of time. And then as I can see inside now I've got the battery charging from the battery into the headset which is giving me that extra battery life as well which is great. Okay in terms of taking off I should just be able to loosen this a little bit and I should just be able to flip this if I in fact let me loosen the velcro as well sorry. Loosen that. Loosen the headset and I should just be able to just flick that up and then take it off like that. So really, really easy to put on and take off. Some of the headset straps that I've experienced can be an absolute pain to actually put on and take off. As I mentioned, the pressure on these type of ones can pull a little bit on the head, especially when you've worn it for quite a while, which you know is a bit of a pain. And again, different pressure points on the head. So that one on the top, that one, super, super comfy. Okay, I don't think there's much more to say. Really, really impressed so far. First impressions, really, really good. Super, super comfy. Definitely the comfiest headset strap 
I've tried to date. So I previously had the Desitec one, which I've stuck with. This one gives me everything. It gives me comfort, it gives me battery, and that comfort and battery means I can wear this for longer. Longer periods of watching films, YouTube, and playing on Xbox, basically, which, which is what I do on the headset most. So giving me longer gameplay, more more chance, more time to watch YouTube, and more comfort is exactly what you need, in my opinion, from a headset strap. Uh, the MetaQuest 3 is unbelievable as it is, and getting more out of it is just an added bonus. So that's really, really good. What I'll do now is I'll wear the headset strap, or use the headset strap for probably two, three weeks. I'll then produce another video in terms of a kind of uh, longer term use of the headset strap. See if it has been comfy, see if the battery lasts, things like that. We'll do a bit of a follow up video on the headset strap. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I think we're, we're done we're done this video now. This has just been part one of the Kiwi Design headset strap and MetaQuest accessories we'll be, we'll be doing. Um, part two, we'll be looking again at this headset strap rather than just this headset strap. We'll be actually looking at another one and taking it apart. So we're looking at the inside, seeing how the battery fits in there. We'll check out the actual battery output capability as well. Uh, we'll do that with a USB-C pass-through. We'll probably do that on this one though, first of all, then taking this one to bits. Um, so part two will be next up on the headset strap series, uh, again on the K4 Boost. Please subscribe to obviously follow along and uh, keep your eye out for the next video, part two. There will be a part three as well. We'll cover off another headset strap. That headset strap is this one, which is the H4 Boost. So this is a Halo battery strap. Uh, slightly different, um, but very similar, um, but a slightly different design in terms of how it's worn uh, on your head, basically. You can see the different design there. So that will be a follow-up video. We'll do a comparison side-by-side -side of these two uh, headset straps, basically. We won't take this one to bits, but we will give this a test in terms of comfort and, um, and we'll actually show the setup process of getting it fit to the MetaQuest 3. Okay, part one done. Head over to part two to watch it, watch this headset being taken apart. If you've got any questions about the headset strap that we've shown, about anything at all you've seen on the video, uh, please drop that in the comment section. I'll reply to all questions and comments. Please do like the video if you found it informative and like the video. If not for any reason, give it a thumbs down, give it a dislike, but do let me know in the, in the comment section why you didn't like the video. And if you wanna follow the Houston DIY channel to follow up for the next Kiwi Design video, but also for more tech reviews, product reviews, giveaways, home DIY projects, and much, much more, hit that subscribe button and we will see you on the next one.